Back in September 2020, we sold our house in the UK, then moved to Normandy in France, where we bought an ancient French farmhouse with various outbuildings, including an old barn, a small cottage with two woodlands, and three and a half acres of pastured land in a beautiful national park area. Follow us on our journey as Budo and I renovate the farmhouse, manage our land and take on many projects for you to enjoy. Let the fun begin. Bonjour everyone. Hi folks. Uh, first of all, I want to make an apology. Um, we've had no videos for two weeks um, and we, we've had some bad times with internet, but yes. Trace Hill. Um, what happened was, we'll just cut a long story short, we were contacted by email from Selectra to um, see if we wanted to change our internet provider. For, so we thought, okay, we'll just contact them see what they have to offer anyway they told us we could go with this provider so we thought okay so we tried started all what they call the probability in france which is the cancellation of your old provider so this was all going through we would said it would take seven to ten days no longer we're just coming up to nearly two weeks now and it's just literally all fallen apart we they told us our uh, landline was connected, but it wasn't. Then we didn't have no internet. internet. We were connected without internet. So Bas it, basically, so we've been treated an, quite yeah, poor, really. An engineer was supposed to contact us. Hasn't. Hasn't. We waited and waited, and they said they will contact anyway. you. So we just thought, no. So we've had to yeah. change the status quo, haven't we? So we've we, changed really? it. But luckily, um, we have a subscriber... Uh, who doesn't live too far, literally about three kilometres away, Sandra. and saw how plight, and has come down, Sandra her name is, lovely lady. Hi Sandra, if you're yes, watching. Yes, hello. And uh, she has said, she's got fibre optic uh, internet, and she said just come up, have a cup of tea, and upload on there, which is much nearer to us, because yeah. Colin and Jane were, was giving us this facility, uh, but they are a long way away, and it's quite difficult to yeah. get backwards and forwards from there. But uh, so we've been rescued there, so we will be able to get our videos out. We've in the two weeks we've not put videos up. We've been busy. We've been busy <laughs> doing videos. Yeah. So we've still got some videos to come up. So we'll start to catch up with him. Uh, Lots and, of exciting things. Yeah, we've got some exciting been. things coming forwards. Um, this video is about us being busy, moving stuff around, um, starting to work on the bathroom where we've been doing tile. Uh, sorry, t uh, yeah, shower room. Doing the tiling on the walls, I've been traces, the doors, been oiling and grouting, and you'll and see everything. all that in this video. Um, but next week we've got a virtually most of it is about gardening because we, we're living in France for a reason. One of the reasons was that we wanted to grow food in a, in a way where we could have more space here, uh, as well as the lavender and the bees and everything else. Mm. But our our system of growing is what we call a no dig system initially we have to dig to get the roots out yeah. but then we from then on it's cardboard compost on top uh we were lucky enough to get up to 60 ton of um horse, horse manure, manure yeah. which is well rotted six seven years old so we'll start to use that um and that that video next week will be about that or yeah. it'll be earlier than next week we'll hopefully get it within about three or four days after this one yeah um and basically we're going to do like a series running in concession with our renovation because it's not just all about renovation we are french farmhouse diary so we want to do the gardening and all the other things as well so that one will be about more about gardening how we're setting up our garden <coughs> for growing food and how we're going to move forwards on that and you'll get little snippets of that every couple of weeks uh showing you what we're doing there so hopefully you'll enjoy that yep and, and i just wanted to show you you yep. will see in part of this video um, obviously I do my crochet and I'm still trying to set up my Etsy shop because it's 
not as straightforward because obviously posting to Australia, Canada, America, you've got to get the pricing and the postage right to be able to obviously sell your goods. But um, I crocheted a bag last year and I thought I just wanted to make it look a bit nicer. So I've made a tour de jouet um, lining. So I thought I'd show you here because it'd be a little bit difficult to um show you obviously just taking a picture so you might have to lift it up because we got yep. it on zoom that's the actual bag i made and these are my leather labels that come and that's i don't know if you can see that yeah they can the get, inside I mean, of the and there's a little, little pocket in there as yeah, well little it's pocket nice. as well so i just thought i'd share that with you hopefully in the future that'll be something that will yeah. go on my etsy page and so, also you'll, you'll have video showing making things like that as yeah well, so. we're just trying to get everything so sort of going apologies we're again yeah we're back um and <laughs> uh, you probably didn't miss as much anyway well but. no <laughs> saying that we had quite a few messages on instagram asking whether you know if we everything was okay and so yeah we had some nice people yeah uh, comment but um we 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 are now back we're going to get some videos up and we're, trying, we're a little bit in front now with videos so we can get one out in three or four days and then another one after yeah. that. Um, so there we go, folks. Let's uh, not caravan the corner on the head now. Yeah, it and, probably uh, is a long one, I would think, yeah. this one. And we'll but speak to you very soon. Very and don't soon. forget to like, subscribe and share and hit Thumbs that up. notification bell. Chat to you soon. Au revoir. Bye. Hi there, we forgot to mention um, in Caravan Corner, obviously because we haven't got any internet, once the video goes live and you'll be able to watch it, we won't be able to um, answer any of your comments because it'd be very difficult to keep going back and forth to Sandra's house. Same if we have a, a premiere. Yeah, so same if we have a premiere. So please just bear with us. As soon as we get a new provider sorted out, we will answer all your comments. Thank you. Bonjour everyone. Hello. Well, we're just moving these tiles and typically it starts to rain. So, yeah. but the rain can't stop us. We've got to keep going. We've got our jackets on. Got our jackets, <laughs> keep warm. Skin's waterproof anyway. So I'll just let you show you what we're uh, doing. Let me just spin you around again. Must be sick of listening to that. <laughs> spin you around. <laughs> it's like being on the merry-go-round. Merry-go-round, yeah. So these tiles here, We've shifted all them. We've already just started this pile here where the pallet's standing up. So we've cleared that one. And this is where they're going. I'll just take you around here where we're sticking all these uh, tiles. So they're going down here. We're gonna put them all up there, pile them up, um, and then cover them over the blue sheet, and then just work on them. What's happening is, is I'm working on like 40 or 50 in the evenings now and then, and just clearing, cleaning them up and then taking them in. It's not a priority job, but it's a job that needs to be done. So we're just like working our way through it. So we'll hopefully try and give you a bit of time lapse of us um, moving these. We've never done time lapse before, so this is all new to us. So we'll give it a go.
So here we are, still raining. Last barrel. <laughs> the last barrel at last. 1500 tiles, don't know how many tiles that is. Hour and a bit later. Tracy's just putting the last few in this barrel now that I've brought over. And we're done, let me just show you. I'm gonna have to spin you around, as they say. On the merry-go-round. So, got them all here now. Out of the way, tidily. I can work around here nicely now. Uh, stops the Wesley hitting us as well, because that's sort of south over there. No, it's over there more. And that's sort of Wesley, so that wall helps me. Uh, that's all that area cleared. So all the rubble and the wood that are there now, we just cleared that last bit up. And then off to the Deschettery to get rid of that lot. No rest for the wicked. Hey, Trey. Yeah, we have a tea break, shall we? Yeah. We deserve that one, don't we? Hey. Definitely. No rest for the wicked, what do you think? No. Anyway, guys. There's no one else to do it, so we've got to we do it. We've got to do it. It's not a problem, no. I'm enjoying no. it. Don't worry. Okay. Yes, yeah, she is. She's got bigger <laughs> muscles than me now. All right, guys. Speak to you later. Right, let's go upstairs. I've just got my screwdriver because I'm going to start oiling the doors. Yes. Oh. Bonjour, Boudot. Hello. What are you up to? I'm just having a chat with my mate here. Uh oh. Yorick, alas, poor Yorick. I knew him, Horatio, a fellow of infinite jest. <laughs> I didn't know you knew Shakespeare. <laughs> anyway, just cutting the hole here for this trap, Trace. Yep, I can just about focus so on it. So this trap will go in here. Yep. There's a pipe directly underneath here. And we'll connect into that. That'll take us into this, the sewage, but you don't need to worry about no. it. No. Um, and then. This is our tray. Yep. So this is Let me see the ceramic, it's very heavy. Yeah, that's actually a nice tray that is. So it's ceramic, it's got the grippy bottoms. But uh, that's the hole there. Yep. So I'll spin it round and it'll be on the outside. Let's go that way, yeah. And then we'll have our big glass side here and a big glass door on this side. So the door will open where you are, onto the wall, yes? Yeah, it'll open this way so you'll be in the shower, be about this wide. Okay. So it'll fit me in and then the door open and it'll stop just around about where the thing is here. Perfect. And then we'll have our sink here. But Toilet we've, there. We've got all the components we can push on and get this done now. So uh, we've got all this, this is all lined up for them. The Saturn shower mixers that we've got in here, we've got centre yep. to connect to. Uh, so it's all good. Lovely. Well, I'm going to let you get on because I need to get my furniture uh, off. Yep, yeah, because I took the door off for you. Yes, thank you. So I'm going to... Just take your bits of furniture off and, and then we'll uh, have a little film up there. Yep, yeah. chat to you soon. Bye-bye. So we've got Tracy now taking off the uh, furniture that I've put on. <laughs> <laughs> so she's taking it all off now. Well, we've actually done the right thing because yeah. I was going to oil the doors on, wasn't I? Yeah. Um, but now... I think this is a better way, isn't it? So yeah, you're right. I'm Take them all off. It's, it's always easier that way anyway. Yep. Uh, I'll just put them on in haste because we could uh, get them up and, you know, see what they're like and that. But uh, you can give them a little light rub down. Now, remember what I told you? Yeah, I know. You keep your... You put, your, put, it, put it in, push push down as you turn. Push, turn, push, turn. And you'll find it's easier on slotted screws. Yeah. You've got the other one off anyway. Yeah, that's all over in that corner. This one here, I'll put on this corner as well. So why is the... Uh, why have you set up your machine over there? Because I'm not doing any sort of furnishings at the moment. Well, I had to do a bit of maintenance on it earlier All right. um, with the bobbin and that. But this was a bag that I crocheted. Oh, yeah. I and I'm that. making a Toil de Joy lining. Oh. I've made one. Oh, a lining and to go inside. Let's have a look. Stitch it together. What's that? A little pocket in there? Yeah, a little pocket as well. But this will be hand stitched, but all the rest of it will oh, be. Oh, that's isn't it? So you've got a little pocket for your yeah. purse or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, and you crochet. I remember when you crocheted them. You've done a lot of them, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. I did started them, didn't I? Crochet yeah. bags during lockdown. So when are you going to do all this? When the, in between all the work we're doing? Yes. <laughs> After dinner, in the evening. Come in the evening, in here, okay. It's peace and quiet and get it done. Well, I'm cracking on with the uh, bathroom now. Brilliant. So, or the shower room, we call it, not a bathroom. Um, I just. Uh, the oil there as well. There's one so. of the doors here. I don't know if you can see that really. Is that the door or the side? No, that's the door. So this is a door, shower door that pivot is on this uh, centre bar all the way down and comes out. Then there's two holes in the glass which will hold the big handle. Uh, but you'll seal that when we're done. And, uh, anyway, we will chat to you in a bit. Bye bye. 
I see you got the window open. Good, yeah. good, good, good. It's good looks thinking. Quite strong, isn't it? Doesn't look lovely. Yeah, that's good. Looks nice, doesn't it? It's so you put the oil on now. This is the uh, linseed oil that's slightly uh, thinned, very slightly thinned. Uh, so Tracy's going to be covering it all first. Then I'll wait about 10 or 15 minutes, then get a nice clean cloth and I'll wipe all the excess off. Yep. And then I'll just probably leave that for a bit. Turn it over and then do the other side, do the same with the other side. But and also for our viewers, what do we do with the cloths? We have to keep them outside because they're very flammable, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Always, we do anyway. If you're always, uh, and that's a little tip for everyone, if you have a linseed oil or any type of oil and you wipe it off your excess, never ever keep your cloths in the house. I would put them in a glass jar and then just put them outside anywhere, you know, out, out of a building, not in a building, outside somewhere, letting them harden off a bit they can ignite yeah. and another thing which probably a lot of people will know is um, when you're applying the linseed oil make sure you go with the grain because if I just went like this yeah you get scratchy in a bit yeah. so when you when you pull it off with a rag anyway you'll get that flatten that down yeah. there you know that'll be how it works but uh, it's it looking good lovely. that's it give it a good coat because it gives it uh it, it seeps into the wood you see and uh, gives it a good nourishment if you like and uh the next coat you put on will uh, darken it down a little bit more as well. Yeah. I wish but we had smell of vision Smell of vision oh my god, yeah. Linseed oil is so beautiful. Lovely. Oak, linseed oil, uh, lavender, all them type of things, beautiful natural smells. Lovely. Which we've got in abundance. <laughs> yep. Well we will have lavender in abundance. Let me just let me just uh, see if I can see how here. <coughs> yeah, we've got all the oils and that from our old from old lavender. But um I don't think you can see, but over there it's out the front now that field that whole field there is going to be with my tractor i'm going to clean it all off and uh we're going to grow rows of lavender going down facing because it's a downward slope it's a free drainage very slightly acid um and i'm going to point you around to south so south's over there so the sun will come down ray onto the field the lavender will absolutely love it uh but that's all coming up in lover projects and hopefully over there, if my mate next door sells me that bit of land, I'd be well happy, but I won't uh, hold my breath on that one. But anyway. So I'm just going to uh, show you what we do when we uh, take the oil off. So I'll just show what you've got in your hands, Trey. So it's a clean... Clean cloth. Cotton cloth. And I've just sort of bunched it up. All right, and then she'll rub it backwards and forwards vigorously as if she's pushing it in. Yeah. The, uh, the oil and I'm just removing all the excess yeah so you can see there's a slight sheen so up there? that side you can see it's like flattened off and then this side's still shiny and that's what you do with oil you put it on you wipe it off you just um, turn your rag round like this yeah and you make sure that that rag goes in a little glass jar like yeah. I said earlier but Tracy will rub that up down a bit more vigorously yeah and that gets the uh, excessive oil off. Just such beautiful smell. It is lovely. But it's uh it's the way you build up oil coats anyway, so you will let this one dry. <coughs> um and then put another coat on and then possibly three coats well, just to get a, a nice <coughs> oh excuse me. <coughs> the more you put on the more it protects it and the lush more lush it looks as well. Yeah. That's, That's coming up lovely. Oak always looks lovely when it's oiled. <clears throat> anyway, guys, we'll come back to you in a bit.
Hi folks. Bonjour everyone. Guess we're where we are? Brico Cash. <laughs> <laughs> we sort of live here now. Uh, but we're here for some tiling bits and some electrical bits. Um, and we're just going to have a little buzz around. Let me uh, spin you around again. So what are we looking for? We're looking for... One of these? Tiling. Trowels. Is that yeah. one going to be okay? Probably go with one of these, Trace, because that's a bit heavy for what we're doing. This one, yeah. The cutters, hang on. Right, I'm going to turn this off because I need to uh, dig them out. Oh, polystyrene. No, polystyrene. Really good. I can't but see look here, look what we got here in front of us. Lining paper. So we've got shelves of all the uh, shutter brackets, shutter stuff. Shutter dogs. No, it's not. Yeah, you've got shutter dogs, you've got uh, shutter hinges. Are they too big? They're the one, no, these are the ones I need here. This size. Right. So we're going to get uh, get eight, I need wheat. eight more. Wheat. Wheat, yeah. So, um, Deux, trois, quatre, cent, uh, six, sept, yeah, wheat. Yeah, look. Sure yeah, well pleased with that anyway. So it's nice to know. They've got all the little lifty hinges, uh, pin hinges. And then there's all your uh, straps for your shutters. Where Every did you buy our ones? I got them at the other place. Oh, the, yeah, La Maison. Where we was on earlier, yeah. But uh, it's lovely, great. This is this Brico cache is brilliant. It's got a lot of stuff. Reasonably everything. priced. I wouldn't say it's the cheapest, but it's reasonably priced. This has everything, doesn't it? All the locks, latches, look, all these locks over here. Did you get eight, Trace? Yes, I did. Lovely. Wheat. Right. Oh, let me have a look at this aluminium stuff. Let's sign it off. Let's see what Trace is up to. Oh, you're pointing that up now, yeah? Yeah. Lovely. I've uh, done the fan. vents, the fan, so once that's yep. dried, I'll rub all that down. And down the edge of the board. And I've just done all down the edge of the board as well. So that's what Tracy's done there is pushed in loads and loads of um, mortar. So when we fix the track onto the edge of that plasterboard and straighten through to the wall, uh, we get a nice grounding, you know, really good hard grounding for the, uh, um, the shower door frame and that. And, and then these light bits. We've got the uh, Here, got the sink on. They, they still need another two right. coats to see. So I'm, are you pretty much finished here now? I'm done now. Because I'm going to start the tiling. Yeah, I'm going to give the doors another coat. Lovely. Oil, and then I'm all finished. Lovely. So uh, we're pushing along now. So I'm going to get the tiling started Sweet. and on the walls. Then we'll start the process of doing some plumbing. That can do the grouting then. Yeah. I've got to drill a hole down here first trace yeah under the sink on the floor because I've got to drop the waste through there I've got the waste in but I've got to drop the uh, the, the 32 mil pipe to connect up to the T piece which is a 40 mil yeah um, and then that goes into the uh, 100 mil waste which is down there yeah and in here somewhere anyway Okey okay folks a uh, little heads up in the shower room First thing, put this board on in haste, but I need to take, cut these two lines here straight through, take this piece out and put compression joints in here, test them, and then zip this back up again because I forgot to put them on. I've, it was the way our shower is and how it fits is very complicated, but it has to have compression joints set back there with a the joint in. Uh, the other thing is I've been, just started the tiling yesterday evening got those on so they're looking quite nice um, just got to grout them up had some fiddly cuts in the around the wall there but they weren't too bad and then over here I've whipped the toilet out of place just working out some lines here so on here the architrave is going to come two and three quarters across here uh, what's that in metric I don't know anyway two and three quarters here um, and then the tiling will start off of there because I haven't got this wood at the moment, I'm still waiting to get it. But um, there we go, there's a little heads up. Next time I'll show you it, this will all be tiled here. And uh, hopefully we'll get them compression joints as well, and get them on. Uh, Tracy's been pointing down the edge here. She's really packed it in behind the back to make it solid. It's all been dot and dabbed anyway and pushed in. 
and then she's put this joint in, in here to hold that, stop any spring in it if you like for the tiling. We've poured down some down the top as well, um, so it's really filled it up, make it solid. Anyway, so a little bit further on, starting to grow along the long wall now, through the shower. I'll come around there by tonight, I should have this up to here. Got to stop about here somewhere. The tiles that way, not, that's where they're going to stop. And then they're going to go up that way with the shower. Let's, uh, let's just a little update anyway, how the shower's going. It's moving along at a pace now. Let's just go down and see what Tracy's up to. Because she said to me she was going to go and move some stones. So let's uh, go and see how she's getting on. I'm in her way at the moment apparently, so. Oh, there you are. Oh, you're lucky, out here in the sun. Any excuse to be outside. Yeah. What are you up to? I'm just um, filling the barrel of these stones, putting them over there. because we're gonna Over? Have to... Oh, on our pile? Yeah. Oh, on the back of it, yeah. Lovely. We're going to have to... Um... Number two pile. Don't strain yourself, will you? No, you're not on light. Yeah. We'll, um... So we're going to move all these. A lot of these came off of this building here, part of the building. And... Uh, we're allowed to build it back up again, but that's another project for another day. I cleared all the timbers down there, stood them up by the scaffold. Down where? That were all laying down. Oh, what we had the, uh, the tiles, tiles on. Tiles on, yep. Yeah, Dry them out and we can burn them, can't we? Yep, yeah, I've stood all them up against the scaffold inside so they dry out. Yeah. But yeah, it's absolutely beautiful. I do like your pyjamas. No, these are actually called lounge trousers they belong to Sarah our daughter now they're dirty trousers <laughs> they love them so comfy, comfy though aren't they doesn't matter though does it what right like? all right well i'm going to crack on with the tiling yep well done anyway i'll see you in a bit Budo. You're right. I just thought I'd come and film you. I've just been bringing the poles round the side for the scaffold. So, yeah. but I just um, it's noticed a day, isn't it? it's absolutely beautiful. <laughs> I don't remember that Land Rover. Land Rover City. <laughs> Got my mate's Land Rover here. We're just looking after it for him. Using it whenever we want, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's probably thinking I never said that. <laughs> no. no, he did actually. He said yeah, he, he did. did. But we got our land drove, so we don't need to. But uh, I don't know if you can turn around there, Trey, and uh, we can look at what we've been doing a bit over here. Um, moved all the blocks over so, there. So, yeah, we've got a load of blocks over there moved. We dug a load more of that out, cleaned at the top of that. But I'm just going to cut these logs up, Trace, and then we can get on with moving this scaffold, the rest of it, around yeah. there. And then once we clear the boards as well, we can get into this middle bit yeah. then, can't we? But look at it, it's a glorious day, isn't it? Eh? Absolutely beautiful today. Look at it, it's so beautiful. Lovely. This is what reminds you how beautiful it is when it's sun shines. And I love the smell of suntan lotion as well. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I needed mm. some because I go pink like a lobster. Right, anyway, shall we crack on? Yes, we will. So folks, um, last night I got this mad brainwave. <laughs> so I got the digger out and I started diggling this area out here. If you remember, it was like a mound that goes up with all this rubble in, inside it. A lot of it's fallen off of this part of the building that fell down uh, 
50, 60 years ago, apparently. Um, so what I've done is I've dug the uh, the base out. So I'm going to bring this all level now with the ground that's behind me all the way up to that wall. Check the foundation just to see if it's okay. If it's not, I might even take that part of the wall down. But um, we're going to check the foundation first as I dig towards it. I'll dig one trench towards it. Um, and we're finding all this hardcore old block and breeze block which was all on top of there at one stage um, so we're going to break that up and use that as hardcore for the road when we build the road on here but uh yeah so all the spoil the soil and it's coming out it's a little bit stony so i'm just building it up around this area here and we cut back this weed um yeah so just another job started <laughs> now it has to be done we, the reason we're doing this, by the way, is uh, we want to bring the caravan up here. So we've got a direct access, uh, so we can link U uh, the ether cable straight into the internet. Uh, because we're too far away from it over here in the caravan. And uh, as you'll see, morning Trace. Um, lovely pleasant morning here. Anyway, so uh, we're, you're going to get some water. Yeah. And that's another reason we keep getting water and taking it over there. So... We're going to get it uh, over here and we will still need the caravan once we go in the house because we will be going in the house shortly um, but we will need the caravan there because we won't have a kitchen in the house so we can use the outside caravan as an outside kitchen if you like but anyway I'll uh, be taking you up the field next on the next little bit because I want to talk about the uh, lavender that we're going to be growing So then, just having a little uh midday break so I thought I'd come over on the field and show you what we're going to be doing over here um, sun shines out now it's glorious it's getting hot as well so here if I spin you round hang on so here's a field obviously this is the edge of our field so our field goes up to in that corner there over there it comes along here okay all the way along to this wall or this building there's a bread oven behind that mound there in that building but what we want to do if i walk down here it'll be a bit easier to show you look at them glorious views over there look so beautiful here this is like a national park area so it's untouched if you like got a little hamlet of uh buildings over there uh, we've got a few friends living there and one up over there that house there is a friend of ours but anyway go back to the field so here this field is south facing so south facing is directly behind us it slopes down um it's around about three quarters of an acre this part uh, of the slope down and what we're going to do we're going to clear all this we're going to cultivate the land a little bit and we're going to grow rows of lavender coming down this hill because it's free draining as well we're going to have rows in rows coming down this way of lavender so as you go past on the road people will see it they'll love it it'll look nice as well as a nice picture um, and then up there when I start next year I'll start cultivating my bees and all over the back on that back hedgerow over the back I'll have bees over there uh, but that's another video later videos but uh, we've got a lovely oak tree line here with young oaklings oaks coming along uh, so there's got a bit of clearing here to do as well a lot of clearing actually um, but look at this look this is what we call a little track here this is an animal's track so it comes along here Something's moving in and out of here. I believe it's a fox. But we've got a lot of stoats and things like that here. Um, whole catty type things. And, and they go off down here somewhere. Hey, look at that for a view, eh? Wow. That goes down the hill there. And then there's a lovely, I don't know if you can see, I'll point you up near. But I don't know if you can see, there's a river down there. A lovely stream river runs into the woods over the back there we've got a wood nice woodland there our woodland 
which is uh, on the other side of the road backs onto that and then you've got the massive woods over the back there they go on for miles over there it's just very beautiful here but anyway so this whole field here sloping down hang on let the lorry go by um, will all be lavenders coming down here and it will be beautiful so I just thought I'd show you that when I'm in my little dinner break <laughs> anyway guys speak to you in a bit
Yeah, you can see it.
Bonjour Budo, how's it going? All good. I'm, uh, all good in the hood. All good in the hood, as they say. Right. So if you come in here, I'll show you what I'm doing. Just watch that glass door. Yeah. So I've done all the tests on the uh, all the pipe work. Yeah. So we know they're doing it. So I've took the uh, manifold off here. I've just set a line up here. This is this line here. This is for the tiles to come round and fill up the shower space. Right, okay. Then I've got this track here that sits here. It goes up that line. <coughs> yeah, well, yeah. I tile underneath that, obviously. Then we've got the side panel, if you want to pan round to that, if you can show it. So up and down, all the way to the bottom. So that'd be the side panel of glass, really heavy. Yes, because we just carried it up, yep. the, up our lovely crookedy stairs. <laughs> and then on this side, yeah, we've got a similar thing coming on this side, the other way around, obviously, all fitting in here. And then the, the door's pivot end will lock in that side, so we'll be able to pivot outside here. And I've worked out from there to the corner of that sink, it misses it by about three or four inches, so it'll come out, swing around, and sit yep. into there. And uh, so it's all going swimmingly at the moment. But um, you never say never. Like, never you know, say I'm never. Touch wood now, you but, know like. yeah, but, but let me just take over the uh, thing from you. I just want to show outside. Oh, yeah, come and have a look. Now, we're here. Uh, we'll come down in a minute. All right, okay. But, uh, no sneak peek view. <laughs> yeah, little sneaky peeky view. This will be in next week's uh, video about what we're doing out there, all right? Just a sneaky peeky view. All right, let's go down. Oh, there's my mate Yorick again. Look. Hello, buddy. <laughs> right, we're going down the stairs now. So, what you, you've cleared up, and you, Troy? Yeah. Oh, lovely. Oh, well, it's nice to come outside. Oh, well done. I'm not yeah. working outside because I want to be. In the yeah, side. you keep coming outside and working. <laughs> Look here. You're right. All right for some, isn't it? Yeah, I can't get <laughs> on with the grouting though, can I? So you I found a few of them. Yeah, keep them. All the boards are there. The Lovely. Poles. So you've got all the scaffold ready around here. It was just in front of the house a minute ago, but Tracy put it around here. Moved all the stones. So the other day you saw me, uh, I showed a bit of digging, didn't I, Trey? Yes, you did. We're digging there. Uh, we're gonna, that's our level down there. So I've got to take off this top now. Tracy's cleared all the stones. There'll probably is... be a few under here, but as you scrape back to lay everything flat, then I'll Yeah, yeah. Well, as I pull it out, you can uh, pick them out. But then we can get this flattened off properly, levelled. Yeah. We'll bring the caravan up here. I'm keeping that bit of cardboard for our no dig. Yeah, for going for... Oh, wait, wait, don't tell too much. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's oh. for next week's video. Comes the word. So we're back in the little shower room again still. I've managed to get all the uh, tiling done over the last couple of evenings, really, haven't I, Trace? Yes, you have. Um, well, um, day and evening, night like, depends on if we're in that and gone. But look, all done now. Um, and I'm finally grouting. Now, Tracy's grouting it for us, so you can see, if I come around here, Tracy, you'll be able to see it better. So, you can see that side's grouted, and Tracy's moving along to that side now. But she's coming on fine now. Yeah. And then, uh, tomorrow, we'll fit the um, shower. shower doors, and I'll put the shower on and test it all. And uh, at the moment, I'm upstairs working on the ballon, so I'm plumbing that in uh, so we can uh, get the water into the ballon because we haven't done that yet. We've just done all the tests. We linked the pipe work and tested it. Um, and then, uh, job done, eh? And then you know what we could do then? What? Spend about two hours in the wide shower. <laughs> yeah, Bagsy first. <laughs> no, 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 me first. Anyway, um, and we've got this nice little tap on here, look, a little lift up so it lifts the uh, popper up and that it's all gonna be set up nicely when i finished anyway you carry on great and you're doing a great job and i'll um crack on later. with uh, uh putting the water in the balance ciao, ciao. bye bye